Today I've been trying out Last of Us Part 1 on the Lenovo Legion Go using Luke FZ's FSR3 mod. Um, currently I'm running at 1200p on this device and I'm unplugged. I'm on performance mode, so 20 watts. And it, it's getting a, a 50, 50 frames per second upwards um, and it looks absolutely amazing. Weirdly, I can't use the 1000p setting anymore. Um, if I do that, it sort of has a halo effect around around Joel. As I spin round, it would it would have little ghost images of him. And when I tried to put it into 800p, um, it just seemed to be expanding a section of the screen for the 800. So I'm not exactly sure if that's a side effect of the mod. But um, what I am seeing is this game looks fantastic at 1200p um, using using this mod, and this would definitely be the way I'd prefer to play it. Now I've done this section so many times, and yet I can't remember where I saw the ladder. Isn't it on the ground? Yeah. So there was a little in the corner there. If I move. Anything that's part of the heads-up display has this this sort of glitching, and that's just a side effect of the way this this mod operates. Got it. Great, bring it over. But I mean, especially in this game, a lot of the time, say I'm swapping between weapons or getting stuff from from inventory, I don't tend to move, so it's not a big deal for me. And hopefully for future versions of the mod will address this. You must be thinking of someone else. That's all really. This way. Down through here. Okay, it's a bit dark. So I hope you can actually see the screen and you're not just getting a reflection of my ugly face. So obviously indoors we're getting much higher frame rates because it just doesn't have to draw as much. And I'm going to I'm going to put it in on power mode. Um, 30 watts, let's give it maximum power. Okay. That was weird. I didn't feel like I'd pressed anything to bring that menu up. Hmm, dropping down to 29. Should also say that the latest um, Lenovo Legion Space update has really fixed these these uh, joysticks. It's like you've got proper dead zones now. I feel like I can be a lot more accurate.
This looks so good. They weren't expired. That'd be a good idea. soldiers, not allowed to spend. It's dropped a few frames here.
So let's pause it there and let's um, have a look at the settings I used during this. So yeah, as I said, 1920 by 1200. FSR2, it's actually FSR3 using um, Luke FZ's mod. And we've got quality setting of balanced, which looks fantastic at 1200p. Motion blurs turned off, film grain intensity. And just go through the graphics, pretty much mediums. Anisotropic two times, texture sampling medium. So lots of stuff on medium. There's so many options to tweak here. So actually after going through all that, this is the medium graphics preset, so you don't have to tweak any of them. So really happy with the mod. Obviously it's still got issues, it's still under development. Um, and you can see that when, when you play certain games, certain behaviours come in, like um, on this game I couldn't seem to play at 1000p or 800p. And it might be that I need to come out of the game, restart at the resolution I want to run in. I haven't experimented that much with it. But um, overall, it, it's it, it's given me a, a sort of insight into the future when hopefully software developers retrofit it to some games, but by default, new games will come out with FSR3 in. So it will definitely extend um, the, the life of this device. So I'm, I'm all for it. I can't wait. Thanks for watching.